In this lesson, we're going to solve systems of linear equations by substitution and use systems of linear equations to solve real life problems. Solving linear systems by substitution. Another way to solve a system of linear equation is to use substitution. So the first step is to solve one of the equations for one of the variables in terms of the other variable. And then the second step is to substitute the expression from step one into the other equation and then solve for the other variable. And then step three is to substitute the value from step two into one of the original equations and solve. This will make a lot more sense once we do an example. So for example one, we have the equation y equals negative 2x minus 9, and then we have 6x minus 5y equals negative 19, and we need to solve using substitution. Well, if you notice here, one of my equations, I already have a variable isolated. This y is isolated. It's all by itself. Okay, So this y is equal to negative 2x minus 9. Okay. Well, this y and this y are the same because we want to figure out what ordered pair is contained in both of these equations. Okay, So I'm going to treat this y and this y as the same, and then that will help me find that ordered pair. Anyway, since this y is equal to negative 2x minus 9, this y is also equal to negative 2x minus 9. So I can plug this in to this y. Okay, So I'm going to plug in. I'll zoom in actually a little bit. I'm going to take my negative 2x minus 9, and I'm going to plug this in for y, and then I'm going to rewrite this equation. Now, whenever I'm plugging in an expression or a negative number, um, I need to use parentheses when I plug in. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6x minus 5 times the quantity, negative 2x minus 9, and then that is all equal to negative 19. Okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to solve for x, okay? and then I'm going to plug that x value back in and then figure out what the corresponding y value is. Anyway, first thing I'm going to do is distribute this negative 5. So this becomes positive 10x and then positive 45. I'll bring everything else down. So now I have 6x plus 10x, which is 16x plus 45 equals negative 19. Now I'm going to subtract 45 on both sides. I get 16x equals negative 64. Okay, now I'm going to divide 16 on both sides, and I'm going to get x is equal to negative 4. Okay? Now, a lot of times, once we get x equals something or a variable equals something, we're done. But in this case, we're not. We need to find the y value as well and then write our answer as an ordered pair. So I'm going to zoom back out here. Okay? I know that my x value is negative 4, so I'm going to plug this back into one of my equations. Now, it doesn't matter what equation it is because, remember, the ordered pair is going to be on both of these lines. Okay? Another way to think of it is it's when the lines intersect, so that intersection point is on both those lines. But we do want to figure out what equation is going to be easier to plug this into. Well, x equals negative 4, and now we're solving for y. If we notice our top equation, y equals negative 2x minus 9, the y is alone. So I'm going to plug it into this equation. Okay? You could plug it in and get the same answer if you plug it in here, but then you have to solve. But if I just want to evaluate, I'm going to plug it into the top equation. So I'm going to rewrite that. I'll write it right here. We have y equals negative 2 times my x value, which if we remember is negative 4. So negative 4 and then minus 9. Well, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 minus 9. And then my y value is going to be negative 1. Okay, So I have my x value. I have my y value. Now I need to write my ordered pair, which is negative 4 comma negative 1. Okay? And now we're done with this one. If you wanted to check, you could plug this back in to see if it is a solution. But I will let you do that on your own. For example two, we're going to solve this system of linear equations by substitution as well. Now in this example, we have negative x plus y equals 3 and 3x three plus y equals negative 1. We do not have an isolated variable. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to isolate one of my variables. Okay. Now I'm looking at these equations and actually in both of these, we have a variable without a coefficient. Okay, So this plus y and this plus y. So I would say that these are the easiest to solve for, but you could solve for negative x or for 3x as well. Um, just looking at this, these equations, I'm going to solve the top equation for y, because all I need to do to get rid of this minus x term is by adding it on both sides. Okay, So I have negative x plus y equals 3. I'm going to add x on both sides. Now I get y equals x plus 3. 
Okay, so now I have successfully isolated my y variable, and then I'm going to plug this into the other equation. Okay, a common mistake that people make is to plug it back into the original equation that they got this from, and then that will just give you a, like an, an x equals x or a two equals two situation, um, but that won't help us. We need to make sure that both equations are included. Anyway, I'm going to plug this into the other equation, the other equation's y value, right there. Okay, so now this is going to be three x plus my y value which is x plus 3. I don't need parentheses here because uh, it's not really going to affect anything. And then that is equal to negative 1. Now I just need to combine my like terms and then solve the rest of this equation. So this is going to be 4x plus 3 equals negative 1. Subtract 3. I get 4x equals negative 4. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to get x is equal to negative 1. Remember, we are not done. I need to find y as well. But if you notice... Here, I have an equation, y equals x plus 3. Although this was not given to us, we just manipulated our top equation to get here, and I have y alone, so I would just recommend plugging your x value into this equation. So when I do that, I have y is equal to negative 1 plus 3, and that is equal to 2. So y equals 2. Anyway, I have my x value, I have my y value, so now I want to write my ordered pair, which is going to be negative 1 comma 2. And that is the answer for example two, and now we're done. For example three, we have a drama club earns $1,040 from a production. A total of 64 adult tickets and 132 student tickets are sold. An adult ticket costs twice as much as a student ticket. Write a system of linear equations that represents this situation. What is the price of each type of ticket? All right. Well, first, let's figure out what we're actually solving for. That's always my recommendation of starting a word problem. Figure out what you're solving for and then figure out what you're given. Okay. Well, we want to figure out the price of each type of ticket. Okay. Well, we have the adult ticket and we have the student ticket. Okay. Well, I'm going to call X the adult ticket price. And then I'll call Y the student ticket price. I apologize for my messy handwriting. Anyway, you could pick whatever variables you want. I'm picking x and y. The math will be the same. Okay. Now I need to write a system of linear equations. So I'm going to write two equations given the data. Okay. And I'm kind of working backwards. So I see right here, this says an adult ticket costs twice as much as a student ticket. Okay. Well, what that means is that I can buy two student tickets for the price of one adult ticket. So that is the equation 2y is equal to x. Because if you think about it, if the price of the adult ticket is double the price of the student ticket, x is double y. x is 2 times y. So that's my first equation here. And then my second equation, well, the drama club earns a total of $1,040. Okay, So I'm going to write that, 1,040. And that's just equal to the total number of tickets. Well, I know that I sold 64 adult tickets, and I know that the price of the adult ticket is X, so 64 times X gives me the total money that we made from selling adult tickets, so that's gonna be 64 X, okay? So then for the student tickets, we know we sold 132, okay? And then to figure out the money that we made from that, we just multiplied 132 tickets times the price of each student ticket, and that's just gonna be 132 times Y. So this is gonna be plus 132 Y. Okay, so now I have successfully set up my system of equations, and now I want to solve it. Okay, well, I'll just box this off. If we see, there's an obvious easy choice to pick, uh, to plug in. I see that x is alone here, so I'm going to use x and substitute this x value into this equation. Okay, well, I know that x is equal to 2y, so I'm going to take this x value and then plug it in here. So now this becomes 1,040 equals 64 times 2y plus 132y. Okay. Well, 64 times 2 is 128 plus 132y. That's equal to 1040. Okay. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. 128 plus 132 is going to give me 260. This is 260y, and this is 1,040, okay? And all I have to do now is divide by 260 on both sides. 
Okay, first thing I would do is just cross the zero off, and then I can just simplify the rest of this fraction. You could divide this out if you want, but sometimes I find simplifying is the easiest way for me. Anyway, um, you can tell that they're both even, so you can divide a two out from the top and bottom. Okay, this is gonna become 52, this is gonna become 13. And then I know for a fact that 52 over 13 is equal to four. So my Y value is gonna equal four dollars. Okay, if you look back, remember Y is the student ticket price. I would always recommend writing what your variables are when you're setting up equations, okay? So my student ticket price is $4, okay? And then if we look back, we know that the adult ticket price, X, is just double Y. So that's gonna be pretty simple to figure out. That's gonna be X, I'll just write the equation first, X equals two Y, and then X equals two times four, and that's gonna be eight, okay? But since we're dealing with a word problem, we want a word answer. We know Y is the student ticket price, and we know X is the adult ticket price. So I'm just gonna write that down, okay? Student tickets cost $4. Adult tickets cost $8. And now we're done with this one.